a dihybrid cross, we consider two traits. Let's take the example of color and shape of P. We have two alleles for color and shape of P. Capital Y allele for yellow colored P and small y allele for green colored P. Capital R allele for smooth shaped P and small r allele for wrinkle shaped P. The capital letters represent the dominant trait whereas the small letters represent the recessive trait. The dominant trait always masks the expression of the recessive trait. This means that if capital Y is present in the genotype, the color will be yellow irrespective of the presence or absence of the green allele. We will try a dihybrid cross between two pea plants having the genotype capital Y, small y, capital R and small r. To obtain the haploid gametes, we will use the FOIL method. First gametes which will give us capital Y, capital R, then outside gametes which will give us capital Y, small r, then inside gametes which will give us small y, capital R, and then last we will take the last gametes which will give us small y, small r. Similarly, we will do this for the next parental gametes to obtain the haploid gametes. We will place these haploid gametes of one parent horizontally and of the other parent vertically and draw a Punnett square. Filling in the square is really simple. Do not mess here and maintain a uniformity. That is, keep your Y's and R's separate and always write the capital letter first followed by the small letter. So, we will take capital Y from the column top and another capital Y from the row. Capital R from the column top and capital R from the row. Similarly, in the next box, we will add capital Y, capital Y, capital R, small r based on the column top and the row. We will find all other gametes and complete the dihybrid cross. Now let's calculate the phenotypic ratio. We know the phenotype of the individuals as yellow, green, smooth and wrinkled. The gametes where there is at least one capital Y and one capital R will show the phenotype as yellow smooth seeds. Now we know that capital Y is actually dominant over small y. So if we have capital Y and small y, capital Y will mask the expression of small y. So these seeds will be yellow in color and they won't be green in color. Similarly, where we have capital R and small r, capital R is dominant over the recessive of small r. So if capital R is present, the phenotype will be smooth and it will not be wrinkled. So total we have 9 yellow smooth phenotype. The gametes with at least one capital Y and both small r will show yellow wrinkled phenotypes. The capital Y will give the yellow phenotypic character and since capital R is absent over here, we will get the wrinkled phenotype. The gametes with both small y but at least one capital R will show green smooth seeds. Since there is no capital Y, small y which is the recessive allele will get expressed and will show the green phenotypic character. And since capital R is present, the seeds will be smooth. And the gamut which is having both small y and small r will show the recessive green wrinkled phenotype. So overall, the final ratio becomes 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. In the genotypic ratio, you just need to count the similar looking gametes and write them. Like I have only one capital Y, capital Y, capital R, capital R. I have two of these gametes. I have two of these gametes. I have one type of this gamete. There is no other gamete of this type. Then I have 4 capital Y, small y, capital R, small r. Similarly, I have 
more genotypes and I will just write them down. As you can notice, there is a diagonal pattern shown here. This will happen if we do the Mendelian cross. This ratio and pattern will change depending upon the gametes. However, the method of solving remains the same. If this video was helpful, then please like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to leave us your valuable comments. Thank you.